Why are iOS developers willingly paying 30% to Apple to take payments even though they can now charge legally outside of the application. Now, let's take a look at the applications that make the most money on the App Store. And they are obviously right now short drama apps and AI apps. And most of them take in-app purchases using Revenue Cat or using Apple's internal system, which both are subjected to 30% of those commissions or 15% if you're below a million dollars or after the first year of a subscription. Now, why do they do that? It's all about money at the end of the day because in-app purchases are proven to have the highest conversion rates. Most applications that have a web application actually encourage people to open the mobile application and subscribe to their product inside of the mobile application. They're paying 30%. Now, most developers think, hey, why should I pay 30% to Apple? But they're not thinking, how much money am I making more by having Apple Apple's high converting payment gateway handle the transaction. The truth is you're spending 30% maybe, but you're going to have 50% higher conversion rates. So at the end of the day, you are making more money charging inside of the application. And of course, as every payment that you pay, you will pass it on to the user. But users are usually really willing to pay a little bit more to have it directly happening inside of the application. Why are people subscribing to YouTube Premium on their iOS device if they can get it $3 cheaper on the website? Convenience, security, trust. People are worth pay, willing to pay for that. It's worth to people. So don't cut away in-app purchases just because you want to save money. Think about the money that you're losing out on for not having them.